Welcome back to the Sticky Art Channel. If you're new here, my name is Justin, and in today's video, I'm going to be comparing a vintage set of barrel Prismacolor pencils from the 1980s to a modern, brand new set of Prismacolor pencils from 2021. You might be wondering why compare old Prismacolor pencils to new Prismacolor pencils, and the main reason is because ever since I started using Prismacolor pencils, I've heard from teachers as well as other artists that the older Prismacolor pencils from Barrel prior to them selling to the new company Newell were just a better quality pencil and the quality dropped off when they switched over. So I wanted to actually see what the differences between these pencils are, so let's get into it. So to start off, one of the most noticeable differences is going to be the packaging. The newer set of Prismacolor pencils, they come in a metal tin case and the actual pencils themselves sit in plastic trays. While I have no real issues with the new packaging, I definitely like the old packaging on the barrel Prismacolor pencils a little bit better, just because it is really unique. It comes in this hard cardboard, almost like a hardback book covering of a case, and you can pull the Prismacolors completely out of their case, or you can pull them out halfway and then fold back the top part of the case and then slide it down and it becomes a little stand so you can actually put this on your desk or table that you're working on workspace and be able to look at all the colors all at once i think this is just a really cool idea and it also takes up a little bit less space than having all the plastic trays from the new sets all laid out on a desk i was really surprised with how good of condition the barrel prismacolor pencils were in considering their age and also the white pencil was still around usually that's the first pencil to go and everything was in really great shape. It also came with this Koinor pencil extender. This is normal, not included, but it was inside this set and it works perfectly for any of the pencils when they get really short, you can use it all the way down to the very end. And one of the first things I wanna point out is this is the new set from Prismacolor from Newell. And this is really common, the handful of the pencils, the actual paint on the casing or on the wooden barrel is cracked. And I don't know if it's just due to the wood being wet or whatever it is, but it is more common on the newer set than any of the old, even though the, the older ones are almost 40 years old. On the older barrel Prismacolor pencils, they're imprinted with Made in the USA, flexible lead, and a quality control number. And each pencil in this set had a different number. And this tells me that the quality control was a lot more stricter when they were in the USA factory and they maybe to actually cut down on cost, gone to a tin by tin or batch by batch way of quality control. And I have noticed that the quality on the pencils that I have gotten in the past has gone down a little bit because of this. Another difference that I noticed is that while both of the wooden shells are the same diameter, the actual inside core or where the pigment is, is a little bit bigger on the older set. And this might be one of the reasons why the newer set are a little bit more fragile and prone to breaking. On the older set of Prismacolor pencils, the center pigment core seems to be more consistently centered, as well as the two wooden shells that make the actual outer core seem more like they're one piece. On the newer set, however, some of them almost seem like they're starting to separate or that they didn't get pushed together as well, so it's a little bit more obvious that they're two separate pieces. And also the center cores on the new set seem more consistently that they are slightly off. Aside from the way the pencils look, I wanted to try out the old pencils versus the new pencils to see how they actually perform. So I went ahead and swatched some colors. And the first thing that I noticed is that the older set of barrel Prismacolor pencils are a lot harder and they don't seem to blend as easily as the newer set. I went over and did a few layers and used a lot of pressure and I was able to get a little bit of pigment down. And it did seem like they were more closer to a almost like a regular pencil. They still had a little bit of wax in them. And below I tried out the newer pencils and I noticed right away a lot softer pencil core and almost to the point where I broke off a little bit of the tip that I had just sharpened just because it is so soft. Um, but I did find that the actual pencil went down a lot easier with these. And it is one thing that I would keep in mind is that the newer set I think is a lot easier for more of an entry level user or somebody that is not as used to it. And I actually kind of like that they go down a little bit easier with the extra wax. That being said, I decided to go ahead and blend these out using a colorless blender, which if you don't have one of these with your Prismacolors, I would highly recommend getting one of these. 
and I'm going to do a full video on how to use this to get a better effect than just using a white or using your color pencil to blend. But it'll save you a lot on using pencils because it is a little bit harder of material and allows you to blend the Prismacolor. I found that the Colorless Blender really helped blend the old set as well as the new set. However, I did find that the older set seems like it actually has more pigment and a little bit more of an even coverage. While on the other side, the newer set was a little bit easier to blend. However, it doesn't have as much pigment. It's more of a wax, I guess, ratio. And I also tried blending it with a white Prismacolor. And I am using the white Prismacolor that came with the old set and the new one that came with the new one just to see how they perform as well. And after I went over it with the white, I was able to go with the brown and layer it. It seemed like it was pretty easy to layer. And I tried this with the newer set as well. And the newer set, it actually seemed like the pencils, because of them being softer and more wax based, it's easier to layer them. However, at a certain point, it kind of gets filled with wax and you can only do so much before you have to take some of that wax away to get more pigment on there. From the first swatch, I can tell that I like the barrel pigment quality a little bit better. And then on the other side, the newer Newell set, I actually like that there is more wax in it or the fact that it is easier to blend. That being said, I want to swatch out all the colors just in case it was the specific colors that kind of perform differently. So I went ahead and swatched out the rest of the colors. My fourth color in, I had my first pencil tip break. And the pencil tip that broke was in fact a newer set of Newell, the ones that are more prone to breaking. Overall, I found that the barrel Prismacolor pencils are a lot harder of a core and don't blend as easily, but they do carry a lot higher of a pigment load. And I can definitely see how a more experienced artist would prefer a higher pigment load and ability to blend your own colors, where on the other side, the newer set of Prismacolors seems to appeal to a wider audience just because it has the wax in there or more wax that allows it easier to blend. And I did notice while the wax makes it easier to blend, the smoother blends really came from the barrel Prismacolor pencils just because I was able to move more of the pigment around than having the wax where it kind of muddied everything up and made it kind of blotchy. So overall, I was able to match up most of the colors from my 36 pack from the new set to the old barrel 48 pack. However, there are a handful of colors that I was able to get from another set that I have. It's a 72 pack of Prismacolors that are also a newer set from Newell. And aside from that, there are four colors that in the 48 pack they've discontinued originally and then they brought back, but they only are available in the 132 pack and the 150 set of Prismacolors, which I do not have those or didn't have those available at the time of making this. And I do want to point out most of the colors, um, as far as the numbers, did match for the most part. However, there were a few colors that really kind of stood out that looked different. One of the oranges looked more like a pumpkin on the barrel color and then on the newer version it was a much more vibrant orange. And the green 911 definitely looked a little bit more of a olive green and the other one looked a little bit darker. Prismacolor number 905 or aquamarine is one of my favorite colors from Prismacolor. And the barrel number 905 aquamarine is something extra special to it. And it has kind of like an extra vibrancy that you can definitely see in person. A little bit harder to pick up on camera. That being said, I looked up on eBay and people are selling one of these pencils from barrel for $20 to $25. After swatching the individual colors, I was curious to see how the colors actually interacted with each other. So I wanted to see how the colors mixed and blended together. So I made a rainbow kind of transition and I made sure to use the same colors as well as use the same steps in the process to get a similar effect and see how we could compare it as close as possible. And after blending them out, once again, the barrels are a little bit harder to blend out. They take a little bit more just moving around compared to the Newells that have a lot more wax in them. Both of them did a really good job of blending together and mixing the two different colors. I think the barrels with having the more pigment, it was a little bit easier to get smoother blends without getting so blotchy. Where on the other side, Newells, you can move it around more, but it seemed like the pigment sometimes got a little bit heavy in certain areas and would make it not as of a even coverage. The last thing that I wanted to compare between the two sets is Wax Bloom. If you're not familiar with what Wax Bloom is, all it is is the wax inside of the pigment reacts with the oxygen in the environment and it creates a kind of a haze on top of the color that you put down after a few hours to, to a day. And you can wipe this off with a paper towel. 
However, it is something that just reoccurs if you leave it be and you don't wipe it off with Prismacolors. And overall, it's not going to make it so you can't see the colors. It just kind of makes them not as vibrant. Um, that being said, I wanted to test these out between the two sets and see which one, if either of them had more of a problem with this. I found that both sets experience a waxy bloom. However, the newer set from Noelle did seem like it had a little bit more of a waxy bloom problem and it was a little bit more noticeable. And this might just be due to the fact that there is more wax percentage in the actual pigment. That being said, both of them have it and it's kind of an unavoidable thing with Prismacolors and you can definitely wipe it off. And I have seen some people use some type of solvents to get rid of the wax after you get all the pigment down. So in conclusion, are Barrel Prismacolors that much better than the new set of Newell Prismacolors? And I would say in all categories that I tried them out on, they definitely performed slightly better, except in one category, and that would be the ease of blending. And I think that's just due to the fact that the newer pencils have more wax in them, making it easier to blend. And if you are a super serious artist and you want the best, highest quality of pigment and colors, I could definitely see hunting down an older set of these. However, for the average artist and pretty much everyone else, I don't think it's going to make a difference. And I actually think that more beginner and intermediate artists would probably prefer the newer set just because it is easier to blend. And that about wraps up my comparison between the two Prismacolor sets. If you do have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching, and if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and turn on notifications for when I post my newest videos. And until next time, peace!